Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlotte Elise and welcome to or back to my channel. This is the most requested video I've ever had in my life and I've done TikToks on it but there's so many little tips and tricks that I've learned that I really want to share with you guys because they have changed the game for me. It's the hairstyle I swear by and it doesn't even require heat so not only is it good for your hair but honestly it's mind-blowing to me because I've tried heatless blowouts and traditional blowouts. I prefer the heatless. It just, my hair has been healthier. I also know that heatless curls can be super uncomfortable to sleep on, so this way is not uncomfortable at all. I've tried some really bad methods. Um, just about any time there's a new trend with it, I try it, and I just swear by this way. I love it so much, and it's comfortable to sleep in, it's good for your hair. Let's just jump into it. I always start with a detangler, but obviously after I get out of the shower, I do my hair routine, so if you guys want that um, in a separate video, let me know and I'd be happy to make it. I use Agua Fresca by Dry Bar, but honestly, I switch it up all the time. I say just use whatever hair product you like. Whatever you do, just don't put hairspray in your hair before going to bed because it's going to make it sticky and as you like move around in your sleep, it's going to stick to the pillow and get really frizzy, so don't do that. I use this, but you can absolutely use socks. Use socks, leggings. Loki, I think socks are better just because they're shorter than leggings, so I find them a bit more comfortable, but do whatever works for you. I've only started using this couple months ago, but socks work well too. I'm just gonna quickly part my hair. I just use my fingers. And just in case you are using socks, um, go for some long ones. And all you're gonna do is use a scrunchie or a hair tie tight like this. And then this is gonna be used the same way that this is. So if it were socks, I would just put it over right like that. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty thin. It's only about an inch and a half, but for some reason the curls end up being very voluminous. So don't be thrown off by the thickness. I just go ahead and take a claw clip. I know this looks a little crazy, but trust the process. Okay, first I'm going to take my front piece, but if you don't have a front piece, then go ahead and just do about a two inch section in the front. And the trick is you want to wrap it up high and tight. So the higher and tighter you wrap it, the longer it's gonna stay and the neater the curl's gonna be. And then I'm gonna add the next little section, which is about hmm, maybe an inch. And then I'm just gonna stay up wrapping very tightly, wrapping up high, grab another inch section in the front, and then I'm gonna go around again. And it's so easy. It only takes me about five minutes total to wrap it, so. And I just keep adding little sections and I'm only adding from the front. So, piece about this thick, I'm gonna add and go. And once you get to the end, you wanna make sure that all of the hair is incorporated or wrapped around right when the, I don't know what this is called, the curler is leaving your face. So you don't wanna have a whole bunch of hair getting added in loosely. You want it to be as close to your head as possible because that's how it sort of stays in place when you sleep. Which is another reason why it's good to keep it as tight as possible. Um, it's a lot more comfortable and it holds up better if you toss and turn, it's not going to get loose. Whereas if you wrap it really loosely, then it might come out in your sleep and unravel, which is not good. I'm just going to take a hair tie and secure the ends. Halfway done took less than three minutes. Also, probably should have said this in the beginning, but if you are ever in a rush, um, this method also works. If you want to just take like a blow dryer, hold it over your hair for a couple seconds and it'll turn out the exact same way. I like to make all the sections the same um, thickness. I'm just gonna go ahead and show what not to do because if you do this, it's gonna probably fall out when you sleep. At least it does for me. So let's say I were to like keep wrapping, I'm adding in sections, I'm adding in sections. If I add this in now, this like gap is gonna move around when I sleep and these are gonna move, whereas this can't really move as much. So it's kind of confusing, but just trust me. <laughs> Tie it off. And this is it. It's so easy. And I know I look absolutely ridiculous, but I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning because there's a couple little tweaks that I do. Also the way you take it out matters. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the hair ties and then I'm just gonna lift the whole thing off. It's pretty simple. But yeah, it never woke me up during my sleep. I think because this is like super squishy. I just, 
And there we go. And now I just flip over and shake. And then I'll go ahead and brush the top, but I don't brush the entire thing to loosen up the curls. I more just brush it to make it look like I didn't just roll out of bed. They came out really nicely. So if you want, you could just stop here and be done. I like to touch up my bangs um, just because it makes it look really polished. So I'm going to do that. Um, here's how I do it. I'm using a curling iron from Bionic. I tried to find one that was as similar in size just so that it looks like cohesive, but Okay, and now I'm just gonna pick out my little front pieces here. And then I'm sort of just gonna, I do it in both directions. I'm just gonna do one way backwards. It looks crazy. Uh, I just do this one roughly because I'm more so just doing this for the front volume um, versus like the direction of the curls. And then, okay. I always hold it in place while it cools. Um, and then once it's cool, So this side is in the right direction, this one's not. So then I just go ahead and run it. And that's it. Now for this one, same thing. If you wanna use a blow dryer and a brush, you can do that. If you wanna use a Dyson, you can do that. I just use this because I think it's like the fastest for me, but use whatever works for you. And I just like to brush the top so it doesn't look messy. This is the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you try these out, you love them. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.